Alright guys, I am going to show you how to get Oblivion Remastered Script Extender, otherwise known as OBSI, installed uh, using Vortex and allowing Vortex to run Oblivion Remastered using the Script Extender automatically on all your profiles. Um, so I've got the link in the description. Um, this mod, if anyone is curious and doesn't know the point of having this script extender, um, in the past with games like Oblivion and Skyrim, we have had the need for a script extender to allow some functionalities for mods to uh, go past the normal limitations of the core game itself. And what that translates to all of you hungry out there for mods is that a lot of mods are going to require Oblivion Remastered Script Extender in order to utilize most of their functionality. Um, some mods do not require this and never will. And uh, some mods can function without it, though some mechanics will be missing. So long story short, this is a very simple process to get this thing installed and ready to go. It's going to sound complicated, but I promise you it's very easy. Um, I spent some time making sure that I had everything ready for this video. Very easy process. Um, and if we look here, um, requirements, mods already requiring this file. We've got six things already. So, um, I imagine this list is going to expand into the hundreds by the end of the life cycle of this game. Um, probably for many years to come. Um, so we're going to go here to the file section for this page. Um, we have two options here. We got the mod manager download and we have the manual download. Uh, typically for mods, I like to use the mod manager download, but for Obzi, <coughs> that is the exact opposite. I would like to manually download this. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go with the slow download because I'm not paying the subscription. Um, I have a spot already through my desktop for Oblivion manual mods. Um, anything that requires manual doesn't have a good Nexus way to... Um, install. Uh, I just have this folder here. We're going to go ahead and um, install this zip here or download it. Uh, and then I've already got the file location set up. It's right here. And I'm going to go ahead and use 7-zip to extract um, the file. If you don't have 7-zip or anything like it, I highly recommend getting some kind of tool that can do this. What is happening here? There we go. Okay. Just need a refresh. All right. So now that it's been unzipped, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the zip file because we're not going to need that anymore. We're going to dive in here. We've got this folder. Um, the main thing that we need are these two files here. Checking to see if there's any other things we need that could be, but I don't think there is. Yeah. Ah, yep, okay. So we're going to ignore this for now. And we are just going to stick with these two files here. Now, what we have to do is find our Oblivion Remastered game folder inside of. Steam. Um, I don't know that this is going to work well or even work at all for the Game Pass version of the Oblivion Remaster. Um, that's unfortunate news. Sorry guys, I don't know what I can do about that. Um, but we're going to proceed forward assuming people are using the paid Steam version. Um, in the Oblivion Remastered, we go to the Binaries folder, the Win64 folder, and you know you're in the right place if you see this Oblivion Remastered, Win64, Shipping.exe 
file. That is what we're looking for. We are going to drag all four of these files right over here, dump them in, and there you go. Uh, Oblivion Script Extender is now installed on your machine. Now, how do we test this? Well, we just run this X XE right here. I see a small command prompt just popped up, and then it is going to go ahead and pull up our game. Now, they do have um, it set up to where achievements are going to be disabled for um, playing with mods. This is not going to disable achievements. Um, this is a very um, outside the game type of mod, I guess, is the best way to describe it. Uh, let's see here, modding Monday save. I'm just going to load this save real quick. Um, but yeah, if you're worried about achievements being disabled, this does not do that. So you can run this. Even if you're playing with no mods installed, totally fine. Alright, so now we've got the game loaded after running from the XE. And I'm going to real quick um, type in a console command. Git OBSE version. And that's exactly how we're going to find out that we have everything installed, everything's running, and it is all working. If you see uh, obc64 version yada yada yada, that is exactly what you want to see. You know you've done it correctly. Okay. Now, we're going to get to some trickiness. Okay. Because everything looks like it got installed correctly. Everything uh, was working when we ran the XE here. But if you pull up Steam and you run Oblivion from Steam, or from a shortcut that is pointing to um, the regular executable for this, we're going to see some different things. Skip. All right, let's just go ahead and load this again. Exact same file, nothing's really changed here um, except where we ran the executable. Which executable we ran, rather. And I am going to open up the console. Um, if, if you're wondering what opens the console, it is the key just to the left of the one called the tilde. Um, it looks like a wavy line going left to right. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do a git obse version. And look at that. We now have a script command git obse version not found. The reason is that we ran the wrong executable. If you run your game and you see this and you're freaking out, it's okay. It's okay. Um, there's an easy solution for this. Um, I was looking up a bunch of things and on the actual mod page itself, a bunch of comments, I dug through and found a way uh, to get over this little hurdle. Now, if you watched my previous video on how to get Vortex up and running, which I highly recommend, um, we've got profiles, we've got mods, yada yada yada. Um, profile right now is vanilla with no mods whatsoever. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and run Living Remastered from Vortex. Just to demonstrate once more, um, when we run from Vortex, Oblivion Script Extender is not going to be running. Which, admittedly, not the best news. 
but oh well. I have a fix for it. I have a solution in hand that kind of resolves this little issue. I imagine if you're going to be modding a lot and you're using Vortex, the tool to set your mods up, um, you are going to go about this method quite a bit. So the command is git obse version, type that in, look at that, still nothing. This is exactly what we were expecting. And I'm going to implement a fix real quick that is going to <coughs> completely resolve this. And it involves Steam. So let's pull Steam up real quick. I'm going to go into the Properties section of the Oblivion Remastered. And you see all these different things here. If you see this launch options, thing, and I'm going to leave this whole thing in the description as well. Basically, what this is telling it is to go into that folder, the binaries, Win64, and go to the opc 64 loader executable to run it. So when this runs, it's actually going to run this executable instead, sort of. <clears throat> Long story short. So now that we got that done, i um, going to go ahead and close out of this. And now we are going to run this from Steam. We're going to see it. Now we got that uh, little console running. That's a good sign. That's showing us that Opsy is up and running <clears throat> for this now. Hopefully, nobody's running into errors here. And I'll just load that same save real quick. <laughs> Which I know you guys have seen already three times. You're going to see it another time after this, just to show that we can run it from Vortex and it's just fine as well. Alright. Git OBSE version. And boom, there we go. Okay, that's exactly what we wanted to see. So now, when we run this game from Steam, <coughs> we're running it through OBSE. Which again, there's going to be several mods that are going to require that. Alright, so I think we're done with Steam for now. I'm going to go here to Vortex. It's saying that it's running in the background, yada, yada, yada. I'm now my vanilla, no mods enabled, and I'm going to hit Launch, which in the past did not know what we were talking about when we tried to get the OBSE version. So let's see if we're still running into that issue. Skip, skip, skip. Same save. Pull up the console again. We're going to do git obse version. It and look at that. We ran OBSE from Vortex. Perfect. All right, that is actually going to wrap this whole video up, guys. Um, OBSE is a tool used by modders to um, do a couple of things base game doesn't normally allow. Um, if you guys want to further deep dive into this, um, 
go ahead and read the description. We've got a bunch of different things here. Um, something kind of cool about this Oblivion Remaster script extender. I think it got ported over from just the regular base Oblivion game. So that's how it got out so rapidly so fast. Um, it is uh, in a very early version. It's, it's in pre-alpha right now. So um, expect some updates when you get updates in the future. Um, you're going to go ahead and download it again, unzip, and then you can probably, and I'll make another video if this ever changes, fingers crossed, um, you're probably just going to drag these over, and when it asks to replace the file, you're just going to click yes to everything and replace all of the old files with the new ones. Um, so just keep that in mind. It's going to be the exact same installation process. These two files aren't even required. They're just readmes and uh, updates on what changed. Um, yeah, that is going to be it. I'm trying to future-proof this video. We'll see how that goes. Um, I'm going to leave a link to this in the description as well as the um, input field for the Steam settings. Um, and hopefully this video helped quite a bit and um, you guys find it useful and get this up and running. All right. Uh, thanks, guys. That is going to be all.